everyone, welcome back to Tech and Gear Tuesdays, everything tech and gear related for the musician or the music lover. So today we have a review on the EUPX1 Pineapple Ukulele from Enya. The Enya Pineapple Soprano Ukulele is 21 inches long, it has 16 frets, it has a bundle, it includes some online lessons, a case, strap, strings, capo, sand shaker, picks, and a polish cloth. It has open geared tuners, a solid headstock, fluorocarbon strings, it even has two strap buttons that are already installed. The neck is laminate mahogany and the body is HPL or high pressure laminate. It's what you find a lot of kitchen countertops are made out of. Very, very durable, virtually indestructible. So that's something interesting to note. It has a compensated saddle and a drill through bridge. Now, some people believe that the drill through bridge, because the strings are in like direct contact with the top of the instrument, that it increases the, the resonance of the instrument or just the, the overall vibration. test the intonation of the neck. I can't reach all the way up there with the bar chord, so I'm going to use this one. Has some decent sustain. A microphone right there <laughs> in case you're wondering but it has some decent sustain uh and also the intonation is good from the lower part of the neck to the upper part of the neck that's important because if you are looking to play on the upper part of the neck and because there is life above the fifth fret people if you're thinking uh oh, you know for a beginner just staying right here on the lower part of the neck you're going to be just fine but if you ever want to expand you have that option the overall tone to me is very, it's very mellow. It's a little bit on the quiet side. And then also it takes a little bit for me to actually dig into the notes uh, when I'm finger picking, but it could be the fluorocarbon strings because the fluorocarbon has a lighter touch. If you switch them out with a nylon string that actually might help. But the overall volume of the instrument is, is more so on the quiet side, I would say. And it, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a bit deeper than maybe what you'd expect from a soprano. It could be because of the materials that it's made out of and the strings. Maybe if you switch out the strings, that could just give it a little bit more punch, a little bit more bite. Who is this for? I think this is definitely for the beginner. The price is right, $89, $90. And it, the price could fluctuate, maybe a couple dollars more, or maybe they might have a sale. They sell on Amazon. They're able to bring their prices down lower and make it competitive. That's why you can actually have the case and all the accessories. It's a really nice starter bundle. If this does go, uh, if the price does end up lowering uh, schools, keep your eye out for these because these would be awesome instruments for your ukulele programs. They're going to be durable. They're going to uh, withstand a few uh, drops and maybe hitting a couple, uh, hitting against a couple of desks. I've had some Enya ukuleles that have been made of HPL and they have held up very, very well over the past year. So that's really nice to know that you're not going to buy something that is just going to fall apart in uh, six months. It's a good investment, I think so, especially for the beginner. Or if you would like to travel and you want an ukulele that actually feels more so like an ukulele and sounds more like one. Sometimes some people with the travel ukes, some people just don't prefer the tone at all, the way that they feel. They would like to have something that more resembles a, a, um, an ukulele that is not made of plastic. Something that you may not like if you would like something that looks like wood because this is HPL. It's a printed 
laminate. That means it's not going, when you look up close, you can actually see the little pixels of the print. But, you know, from far away, you can't. But if you would like something that is, you know, whether it's laminate or something that resembles actual tone wood, you, this, may, this may disappoint you if you do get it. But it doesn't, it doesn't stand out like it's not garish or anything like that or poorly done. It's just something that to note that if you're looking for something that looks like tone wood or that is resembled more so tone wood, then that might be the only thing that would disappoint you. Other than that, I think that it's got a solid neck, feels very nice, and I think that it's going to last you a while. So those are my final thoughts. I think it's adorable. <laughs> I really do. I think that the... The tone is, you know, it's going to blend in more so with my concert ukuleles, tone-wise, but just the shape stands out. I think it's very cute. The price is right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have this ukulele, what do you think? If you have another Enya, would you consider purchasing this one? Or if you have another ukulele, would you consider purchasing this? I want to hear your thoughts because your opinion matters. Okay, so I'll see you um, in another episode of Tech and Gear Tuesdays, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.